Geraldo has been nerfed, but was it enough to knock him off the top spot as the best hero on BTD6? Well, let's go through his nerfs and see how it changed him. To start, his Jar of Pickles price was doubled while also getting its duration reduced. This eliminates the brainless pickling of your main tower for the entire early game and makes you really decide what monkey and round to buff. Obviously, pickling is still worth it, especially on Druze of the Jungle and other low damage towers, but you need to be careful as $50 for an 8 round buff was very manageable, but paying $100 for a 5 round buff will hurt your wallet a bit more. Next, we have his Camo Potion not being able to target certain non-attacking towers. This was really only used in niche scenarios like advanced intel shenanigans, but what will be missed is the extra range on villages when making large monkeyopolises. After that, we have the huge nerf to the glue trap as it now has a max duration and got its pierce cut by 66%. Now, it does restock faster than it expires, so you can keep one track fully glued assuming you don't hit its pierce cap, but gone are the days of guarding multiple tracks with this all-encompassing slow. You will definitely still be placing glues down, but you'll have to be much more thoughtful on when to use it, similar to the changes to pickles. This next one hurt my soul, and it is that Sharpening Stone now only lasts 15 rounds instead of being a permanent buff. Now, 15 rounds is a very long time, but this comes into play when trying to buff multiple towers with Sharpening Stone. You see, Geraldo used to be able to buff tons of towers as you just throw it on a new monkey every time a stone came in stock, but now you will only be able to buff your main damage dealers as Geraldo can only keep up with two to two and a half towers at a time. Next, we have the Maelstrom's price, which was increased by $150 and the max stock reduced to 3. Additionally, when these traps get upgraded to super maelstroms, they no longer get an increased duration. Luckily, they keep the extra damage, projectiles, pierce, and lead popping power, but these nerfs really hurt on tough rounds like 98, where old Geraldo used to make it a breeze by breaking the ZOMGs down to nothing with only a few cheap traps. Then, his rejuvenation potion got its price doubled from $1 to $2,000. Honestly, not a big deal. If you were going to use these for races or ranked bosses, you're still going to end up using them. It just got a little more expensive. Expensive. This does put a huge dent in the epic sniper farming strategy though. And finally, his genies got their duration reduced so they now only last 2 rounds. This doesn't sound like much, but you can no longer have a genie up and running from rounds 95 to 100. Instead, you'll have to pick and choose your battles as you'll need to take on 2 of these rounds without a genie, unless you time his level 20 restock, but that takes more planning than most of us are willing to do. So what did all of these nerfs have in common? They made every single one of these items more situational, so instead of brainlessly spamming them to get free black borders, we actually need to think about what rounds to use these items on. So for the average player, this hurts Geraldo quite a bit as his skill curve just got a lot steeper, meaning most players will be better off using straightforward heroes that only have an ability or two to worry about. But for more experienced players who know what rounds to worry about with their current and future defenses, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, there could have been an XP curve nerf or something that would have crushed him. Ninja Kiwi was aiming to keep him a top tier hero, but making much harder to use, and I think they did just that.